dear kids hope you all are doing very well so today actually we would not uh, learn anything new i mean uh, any new topic rather we would uh, go through once again um, to our uh, previous syllabus and you know earlier uh, in the earlier class i have um, mentioned some of the new words for you that were from your uh, active english and eft book so uh, this were very new words for you um, most probably the five words were given on the previous class and today i would like to uh, touch the five more words and of course these are not new but they uh, all were uh, in, on the previous test that means the class test number one so uh, let us go uh, on let us get over it see uh, there are five words um, you already learned the words but once again i would like to touch it like uh, the teacher teacher means what teacher means tutor or educator you can write tutor or you can write educator the if you find tutor is the easier one then you can mention it if you know if you uh, actually uh, if you are willing to go with, with educator then you can also do it see uh, a sentence is i love my teacher or you can write your own that uh, she is my teacher or uh, miss priyanka is my english teacher or i love um, my teacher or i like my teacher whatever you want then the second one is look look means see to see something so you can make a sentence like look at the picture or look at me or look at the sky okay or look at the board then say say means tell to tell anything and a sentence with this word is say something or uh, say the name of the flowers or say the name of the fruits um, etc like listen listen means hear a sentence uh, a sentence with the uh, word is listen to me okay or listen to your teacher or listen to your parents say uh, go go means live so a uh, sentence with go is go to the door or go to your school or go to your home or go to the playground whatever actually you want you can write okay so this were the um all five words that already uh, we have learned uh, in our previous classes but uh, i thought you it's actually uh, it's needed to uh, once again to touch the words as a uh, this will uh, be in your exam okay so the new five uh, words and along with the five words the old five words that means in total there are 10 words for you okay so uh, these 10 words will um, are very important for your coming exam so let me tell you how uh, you can answer it in your exam i will actually um, i will give you uh, I can uh, I can give you this pattern like uh, just write down the meaning of the word. If I don't mention, if the question doesn't actually mention to uh, make the sentence, so you don't need to make the sentence with the word. But if the question actually uh, the question actually appeals for the sentence, then of course you have to mention a sentence with the word. Got it? That means if I uh, if the question will be like uh, make sentences with the following words. That means you have to just write a sentence, nothing else. But if the question uh, asks something else like um, write the meaning of the following words and make sentences with the words. Okay, then you have to write in this way you have to mention the meaning of the word along with this you have to write down a sentence uh, sentence with i mean using this word okay see uh, word meaning and sentence making if these two things are amalgamated then of course you have to at first you have to mention the meaning and then you have to write down a sentence okay but if the question only asks for the meaning then you have to mention the meaning only okay then you don't need to you don't need to write the sentence okay so you will have actually at least 10 marks for word meaning and sentence making so don't take it so light okay so please uh, be careful answering 
such a word meaning and sentence making okay one more thing if there is actually two meanings see i have uh, written two meanings of uh, this word teacher but i would like to uh, i would like to suggest you to choose the uh, easier one like tutor okay you don't need to mention if there if you think that okay there are so many meanings of a word so you don't need to write down the every meaning okay you don't need to write uh, at least um, i mean three to four meanings or two meanings you just have to mention just a meaning the similar word or the synonym of the given word okay so that's all for actually today so this class was uh, very short and this class was only um, for word meaning and sentence making uh, this earlier we already complete uh, and we already learned about it so i hope on the next class we will meet with a new one topic okay so till then take care